Hello, this is Mary Ann LeRae with Mary Kay Cosmetics, and I am excited today because I would like to introduce to you Brooke Guthrie, Makeup by Brooke. Hello. Yes, she is an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay. And she, I, we, of course, we learn lots and lots of things through Mary Kay and how we build our skills, but she is truly a gifted makeup artist. And so I've actually wanted her to come here to my home and use all the Mary Kay colors so you can see that transformation. I've already done my skincare and my foundation. I'm just waiting for her to do her thing and put some glamour here. And so I'm excited about what I can learn because Mary Kay has always said, school is never out for the pro. We always keep learning from each other. So um, makeup, uh, Brooke is gonna go ahead and get started. And uh, I've already got eye primer on. Oh good, good, good. Yeah. That's so important. Yeah. I, um, I just started using primer about a year ago and it's made a world of a difference. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start with just a light base color to kind of even out the skin tone and make it all the same color. And we'll go back on top of that. So the reason we use such light colors is really for just the, since it's the base, it's just so important to have an even skin tone mm -hmm. on the eyes, and then you can add in more color on top. It's so much easier to add more color than to take color off. <laughs> okay, well that seems to make sense. Yeah. That's Halloween tomorrow. A lot of people are going to be adding color yes, lots to of their color. face. Yeah. Color that we wouldn't wear out and about normally, but not particularly. <laughs> Very neat. So next, I'm just going to go in here, right underneath your orbital bone. Okay. And I'm going to add in this really fun shimmery color. Okay. That color? That's actually called Amber Blaze. Amber and, Blaze. And the light color that you put on is Sweet Cream. Ooh. So, good. I'm looking forward to seeing this transformation. I didn't realize how important structure, working with the structure and the orbital part of your bone makes a difference. Yes, it does. Because sometimes if you can put your makeup on a certain place on your eye where somebody else puts it on their eye, but your eye is completely shaped differently mm -hmm. than theirs, it's going to look totally different. You want to stay true to your own structure and your own look. Yeah, I was excited to learn that that my eye shape I've learned over the years. I have a droopy eye, or some people would call it a sad eye, and I, I'm glad to know I can use eye makeup to make it look happy. Yeah. So I'm just blending that in towards the inside of your eye. Okay. Is this your blending brush? Actually, I use that the dual brush there for, okay. for blending. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna blend all that together. Okay. Before I add more. All right. Blending is so important too mm -hmm. because if you put the color on perfectly and just leave it, it looks like you did just, just that. that. <laughs> yeah, you just left. You just left it. Okay, so I'm going to come right next door. To okay. This color. Hazelnut. To hazelnut. Mm -hmm. Hazelnut's one of our most popular mid tones. Mm. It's really pretty. I'm going to just put that kind of on the inside of where I put. Okay. 
the side the fact that it's fall and everybody's thinking of coffee yes. and no wonder hazelnut is our most one of my most co popular colors. You know, I found that when you're in a rut, you feel like you keep using the same colors over and over again. You need a lift in your routine. It's so important to invite a girlfriend over and just uh, play. Yeah. You know, kind of get some perspective on, you know, our time is so precious that we tend to just slap on the same thing over and over mm -hmm. and over again. Exactly. And some people get really stuck in one look and they're scared to venture out. Yeah. So it's it's fun when you have a friend come over and yeah. switch it up a bit. Mm-hmm. Because they see you differently than you see yourself. And... Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go just in the inner corners or the outer corners of your eye. Okay. And I say, I say we use this fun color here. Okay. And let's see, that's truffle. Truffle. Okay. Another fun fall color. Definitely. I'm going to go right here on the outer corners and bring it in. I'm just dotting it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people try to rub mm -hmm. and rub and rub and it doesn't go on as well as just a dap, dap, dap. Well, in practice, too, I have found I have to practice and practice and practice, and then all of a sudden, one day, you'll put your makeup on in five minutes. Mm -hmm. And people say, gosh, how long does it take for you to put your makeup on? Well, after we practice about 25 days, <laughs> Exactly. Then it gets really fast. Exactly. And sometimes it's fun to just take a day mm -hmm. where you don't have much to do and just play yeah. with your makeup. Like some days I will, if I don't have much to do, I'll spend about an hour in the morning just playing with different looks. Mm -hmm. different. And that helps you find different things that you like. Well, and looking in the fashion magazines, there are some, some things to duplicate and then some things not. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so nice to have your girlfriends to say, uh, yes, absolutely, or no way. Mm -hmm. Very much. You always need at least one honest friend. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That loves you. Yeah. <laughs> Two on out of love. Yes. That's my mom. She'll tell me how it is. She's not afraid to say the truth. We gotta love our mamas. Oh yeah. Now do you have, have a problem sometimes with these colors falling under your eye? Oh, I do. And I have a special beauty trick that yes. I have learned. And I, I use my luminous foundation and um, use my foundation brush and then go right over it and it brightens the eye and also um, cleans up any of that color. Mm. Now I put an eye cream on underneath it so that helps a little bit but sometimes I'll put a tissue you know like a little tissue to keep it but I have found that that one trick with the foundation works well. What, what do you do? What works for you? Yeah, typically just, I don't put on my, um, I have like a highlighter cream that I'll put on under my eyes, and mm -hmm. I usually put that on last. I'll mm -hmm. wipe it off down here. Right. And then you end up wiping off your makeup. Yeah. So you add more. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, these colors, when you use darker colors, mm -hmm. there's always a tendency that yeah. it's yeah. going to fall under your eyes. 
Yeah, and so we you can, look. I can, <laughs> so oh, you look crazy with it, like well, that. now it's Halloween, right? <laughs> we can say this is great for Halloween. Yeah. So do you want me to wipe them off with this? Well, shall we go ahead and do sure the luminous? Yes. Um, this luminous foundation. Where's my luminous foundation? There it is. And so I'll just put this luminous foundation on the back of my hand so that it warms up that color, and then I'll take. 